Speed Speed Show, Chuck Lemon Rock. Four, this chapter. Take your egos and throw it out the window. I'm about to blow your mind. Not only am I blow your mind, some of you are going to feel uncomfortable. But let's give all due respects to the creator. Let's get into it. On the third one, I showed you different books to let you know that I study from different books. I get information from different books because I got to do cross-reference. I just can't believe what you said. I just can't believe what she said. I can't believe what they all said. So I cross-reference the match. And then what happens is the key that's in my, my, in my shaka begins to turn. And then my own common sense awakens up to be able to visualize the truth. And basically, we on this earth to live it. We didn't ask to come on this planet. Some people say it was a gift. Everyone has their own reasons. But for a fact, we didn't ask to come to this planet because we don't know. Some people believe that we travel from different dimensions and we go to a new dimension. We forget about the old one. It's totally erased. Some people believe that. I have another thing. Totally different from what I just said. You ever notice somebody all of a sudden becomes so holy and thou? They they beyond the Christian beliefs. They are walking on air with religion. But before that, they was out there in the world. You couldn't tell them nothing about no religion, no spirituality, because partying all day, every week, every holiday, celebrating every holiday that came out in their mind, if you wasn't doing it, you wasn't part of the world. Think about it. Same people. All of a sudden, go to God. Go to God. Go to God. I'm gonna tell you what really happened. Because you in your lower form, you don't know yourself. But your higher form, which is in the shell, your deity, noticed that your flesh was dying. Now you gotta hear yourself to change or you're gonna die. Not fulfilling the things you need to do, per se. Your true nature, your light, the energy, is not done with the flesh. So it wakes you up psychologically. Because you're walking around in the wilderness of South and North America. Doing all kinds of habit. Then all of a sudden, you become institutionalized. You become religious. In many different forms. Which one you go? Because you said, I need guidance. You said, I need help. So you try to go for something spiritual, something religious, to guide you back to reality, because you was a walking corpse.
You said the demons had you. They possessed you. From different dimensions. You say, God, help me. Nope. See, God already put this in you when you started to believe. It's already in you. The Creator has put all the things you need inside you. See, because when you started to believe the Creator, you started to focus on the Creator. So you said, believe in God. And then you slowly started coming out of your dimension, of your dimensions, of psychological warfare. But the question is, are you reading your books to find out who you truly are? Are you understanding your true power? The Creator gave you the ability to think and to create. You see, a reverend, a minister, a preacher, a pastor, if you are I mean, dealing with the demon process, they can't save you. You got to want to be saved. Why do some people could be saved out of this dimension and some people can't? Because they don't want to be. That's why you can keep talking to people in the face until they turn blue and they'll say, excuse my French, get the fuck out of my face with that bullshit. They're not ready. Excuse my foul language. What games are we playing? What stories are we telling? You begin to say, I need to stop smoking weed. I need to stop doing drugs. I need to stop drinking liquor. I need to stop drinking beer. I gotta cleanse myself. Because your higher self begins to speak. Real talk. See, when you read these books that I showed you, you're reading about ancient times. Are you following the rules? These books that I showed you is dealing with ancient times and what they did. Or well, they had their own problems as well. But they gave you guidelines for not to fall in, into the cesspool pit. See, the creator is all over. The, the unknown is all over. That's why the world knows the creator. And they give the creator a name, him or her, so they can feel a safety net to be able to identify. You understand? But saying it's your story, her story, their story, is the true story. It's a lie. You wasn't there. You are regurgitating from all these things. You regurgitate, regurgitate from all these information. All of it. Did you know who you was? Have you ever watched this documentary, Hidden Colors? Huh? Think about it. The untold story about the original Moors, the African descent. Huh? Did you know about that? Did you see this? Do you have this? You didn't know none of these things if people wouldn't do their documentaries. But these are different things that can get you on the right path. Did you? Well, we 
discussing that in part five. Documentaries. Somebody's got to do it. But now all of a sudden you want to change your life. This is a great thing. It's a great thing. If it's changing your life, beautiful. But let me ask you this question. Study what you now submitted yourself to and understand what you're submitting yourself to. Because if you're still doing Christmas and all that kind of stuff, I'll leave that in part five. Chocolate almond rock. It's a good thing you've changed. It's a good thing. Now you shift yourself to a higher place. Because the demons are all with you. They ain't here. 